What's up everyone? It's Ed from Bar Stars and today we'll be giving you a one-arm pull-up tutorial. The first clip is me doing some one-arm pull-ups a couple years ago and this is Henry. He'll be doing the video demonstration. I showed him how to do the one-arm pull-up using these exercises and method a couple years ago so hopefully it'll work for you as well. Uh, the first thing I want to dispel before the tutorial starts no matter how many weighted pull-ups you do does not mean that you could do a one-arm pull-up it will make it easier though and pull-up endurance such as 20 or 30 pull-ups does not help now here comes the assisted one-arm pull-up you want to use a band a towel or a shirt tied on the other side of the bar and have one hand on it while one hand on the bar the hand that's on the bar is the dominant hand and the other hand is the assisting hand so you want to use that hand as little as possible you want to start grabbing the assisting object at the very top closest to the bar and then work your way down over weeks as you get stronger. So right there, Henry grabs at the beginning of the video at the very top. And over we should work down to bring the hand closer to your waist where you have least assistance. The next exercise is the one-handed assisted pull-up. Now this is harder because your weight is centered and you could depend on your arm less. They're both good variations, but the assisted band one is easier to cheat on because you're able to rely on the band a lot more. Whereas pulling on your arm, there's only so much strength it could pull you. Now again, you want to start the closest to your wrist and work your way down your forearm, your bicep, and your shoulder. You could progress a lot slower than uh, Henry is in the video. Next is the negative one arm pull up. So you come up with the assisted using as little help as possible and then come down as slowly as you can. It's the negative one arm pull up. Now he's using the one-arm pull-up and one-arm chin-up interchangeable in the video. Some people think the one-arm chin-up is easier. From my personal experience and Henry's personal experience, we had better luck with the one-arm pull-up. So you could train them both simultaneously, or you could focus on one or the other. And there you go, those little exercises for the one-arm pull-up. You wanna work it two times a week. The reason so little in frequency is because this move has a very high tendonitis rate. You could get a lot of tendonitis, and it's something to be careful about if you already have tendonitis in your elbow. So it's not a move you could practice uh, five days a week. Now I suggest that you start with the hardest exercises you're able to do. So going backwards in the video, I suggest three sets of max one arm negatives. Each time just trying to go as slow as you can. Next would be two sets of one hand assisted. That's the hand on the wrist or forearm or bicep depending on your level and then come up. Again, you want to stay in a very low rep range. You're not trying to go over five reps because you're trying to build strength and not endurance. And then the last will be the assisted. I put this last because you're able to depend a lot more on the band or a belt or a towel than you could on your arm, but it's still a good exercise. You want to have long rest in, be in between the sets. That way you don't get tendonitis or overtrain. This is a move that's really easy to overtrain. And again, um, if you do weighted pull-ups, this could help but it's not going to help you learn the technique. It's a technical movement as well as a strength movement. And if you could do 20 plus pull-ups, it doesn't really help at all. Um, this is a strength movement and the better endurance you have is not going to really help you. Now to answer the questions on the form of the one-arm pull-up, starting from a dead hang, what I mean by that is one hand on the bar and the arm fully extended with the elbow locked, the elbow flex at the maximum of its range. This is much harder to start your one-arm pull-up than it is with an arm bent. So maybe you want to start learning with your arm bent and then move on to the full lockout position because this is much harder. You could actually feel the difference in the strength between both movements. Now as far as the way you're turning, when you're pulling up, you want to lean your opposite shoulder, the, the what would be the assisting shoulder, towards the dominant hand. This curve of the body allows you a, a easier range of motion to get to the top as opposed to going straight up. You would start with the curve, and as you get stronger, you could go straight up. Keeping the hand out does help, and it makes the movement a little bit easier. Not much easier, but it does make it a little bit easier. All right, guys, I hope this tutorial helped you out. Like, comment, share, and uh, leave what the next video should be down below.